Car thefts and stolen property in the Steel City tonight. The latest numbers from Pueblo Police show the amount of stolen cars has nearly doubled in the last year. Cardio News Channel 13 Sean Rice is live outside the Pueblo Police Department on what could be driving this increase. Sean. Heather, the Pueblo Police Chief says efforts to keep jail capacities down are making it harder for his officers to prevent thefts from happening here. Over the last week, these pictures shared across social media. A stolen white truck responsible for numerous thefts to local businesses along Highway 50. The truck has been located by Pueblo Police, but the thief not yet located. As a regular citizen, you know, I mean, what do you do to protect your property? I mean, what do you do to protect yourself if there's no repercussions for even selling a car, right? These people are, are committing grand theft auto, which is a felony, but then they're getting released. In a recent crime report presented to the Pueblo City Council, Pueblo Police Chief Chris Noller said the Pueblo County Jail is only accepting felony level offenders, adding a person can steal just under two grand worth of items or property and only be issued a citation. We're not talking about people that are going into Safeway and stealing hamburger to feed their family. We're not talking about people that are stealing coats when it's 20 degrees below zero. We're talking about people that are making a career out of going into stores, Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot, Walgreens, and making a career out of stealing things, selling them, and then doing whatever it is they do with them. He feels the patience of people in Pueblo is growing thin with their inability to prevent thefts from occurring. Citizens, in not only in our community, but, but throughout the state, are, are getting uh, uh, frustrated with our inability to put people that steal in jail and have them pay some sort of consequence. Um, you know, you steal $1,999 worth of merchandise and my officer has to write you a ticket. I mean, I don't know, that doesn't seem right. Chief Noller said Pueblo Police has had to pursue other ways to catch thieves, such as undercover operations. He said the businesses along Highway 50 usually hit by thieves are grateful for their efforts. Reporting live in Pueblo, Sean Rice, Cardio News Channel 13. It's disturbing, Sean, thanks.